Hey guys, how we doing? All right, guys, we'll just wait another minute or two to wait for everybody to sign on. You can turn cameras off, cameras off, your choice. I will be muting everybody uh, once we start, so you don't have to worry about that. My name's Christy, if we haven't met before. Hi. Welcome to the 60-minute vinyasa flow. Um, you don't need anything except yourself, although, you know, if you want to grab a couple of blocks, also, BYOJ, bring your own jams. I won't be providing or playing any music, so you guys feel free to rock out to whatever you want to rock out to. And I am, full disclosure, I am at my family's lake house. I'm filming in a place that I've never filmed at before, which means, you know, I don't know how nice view is. So I'm going to have you guys do a little testing session for me. So just let me know that you can still, actually I'm going to pull it a little bit closer. And when I stand up, can you still, yeah, you can still see the top of my head, right? Thumbs up? Yeah. Okay. Awesome. Cool. All right. We'll just wait until that three minute mark so I can get the last couple of people who join us late in the waiting room. Yeah, let's see what else, what else? Uh, okay, so what are we gonna be doing today? We're gonna be opening up the hamstrings and firing up the core because in my opinion, um, a lot of the tools that you'll need for a lot of the poses in yoga or more advanced poses or any poses really is open hamstrings and hips and a strong core. Uh, so that's what we're gonna be working on today. So you can go ahead and settle onto your back. That's where we're gonna be starting today. So you can lie down flat on your back. Go ahead and close your eyes. Your only, let your only job here be to just chill. It's your only job. There is a man with a tractor nearby outside, so I'm really hoping that you guys can't hear that too much. All right, and it is three minutes past the hour, so we'll go ahead and get started. I'll just double check that everyone is admitted in. Any last words before I mute everybody? No? Okay, I'll go ahead and mute you guys. All right. And again, my name is Christy. Welcome to the 60 Minute Flow. Go ahead and lie down flat on your back and get nice and cozy. Again, like I said before, your only job here is to just chill. So let your, let your arms spill open. Let your feet splay open. Start to check all of those little threads in your face and see if you can let go of any tension that you may consciously or unconsciously be holding on to. So relax all of those little spots around your temples, your jaw, your lips, your teeth, your tongue. Allow your tongue to float to the roof of your mouth. Palms are facing upwards. Fingertips curl up naturally toward the sky. And start to bring your awareness on your posture. So feel the backs of your shoulder blades as they make contact with your mat, with the earth. Your sacrum, the backs of your thighs, the backs of your knees, your calves, both ankles. And just kind of surrender to that downward force. And then let your awareness slowly be drawn inward. So start to shift your awareness on your breath, bearing in mind that your So really try and maintain that focus on your breath throughout this practice. Not only on your breath, but on that space between each breath. 
As you seal your lips closed, start to really feel and notice that warm air as it flows in and out through your nose. And then see if you can start to slow your breath way, way down. Making an attempt to mimic the length of your inhales to the length of your exhales. And keep in mind that this is your practice. So you take as much from it or as little from it as you need today. And that's probably different than someone else in this virtual room. It's probably different than yourself yesterday or yourself tomorrow. So just honor wherever your body's at today. Otherwise, it's not really yoga, is it? Begin to take a really slow inhale through your nose, filling first your belly. Inhale a bit more to fill your chest. Inhale even more, expand through your collarbones, hold it at the top. And slowly exhale, empty your chest, empty your belly. Squeeze all the air out of your lungs and hold your breath empty. Good. Inhale again, this time for one, two, three, hold it at the top. Exhale, one. Two, three, hold it empty. Keep holding, keep holding. And slowly inhale again for one, two, three, hold it. <clears throat> Exhale, one, two, Three, hold your breath empty. And as you inhale again, I invite you to take one to two more rounds of breath, just like that. Except this time you're moving at your own pace. When you complete those rounds, just come back to your normal breathing, keep your eyes closed. See how long, how slow you can create your breath. and see how long you can pause between each one. As you complete those rounds of breath, go ahead and come back to your normal breathing. Notice any changes that you feel in your breath, in your posture. Hopefully you're feeling a little more calm than when you first stepped onto your mat. Begin to flutter your eyes open and we'll get right into it with some core work. So leave your arms exactly as they are. Magnetize your knees to your armpits. So it's like with your knees, you're giving yourself a big wide hug, but your arms are laying flat. Now as you inhale, begin to slowly lower your heels down towards the mat, keeping that bend in your knees, and tap your toes on the earth. Good, exhale, knees to armpits, nice and wide. Inhale, lower your toes for three, two, one, tap toes, exhale, knees to armpits. Inhale, lower for three, Two, one, exhale, knees to armpits, last one. Inhale, lower for three, two, and one. Float your left leg down flat, extend your right leg into the air 90 degrees. Extend your arms overhead. As you exhale, lift your upper back and reach your arms forward, that's five. Moving with the arms forward. Three, feel that fire in your core. Two, and one. Keep your arms reaching forward. Float your left leg up 30 degrees, so just hovering and pulse for five. 
four, three, two, and one, switch legs, relax on your back, reach your arms up overhead. We'll do the exact same thing on the left side. So your left leg is in the air, right leg is flat. As you exhale, lift your back, reach your arms forward, moving with the arms, that's five. Four, three, two, and one. Keep arms forward, upper back lifted, float your right leg up to hover, and pulse for five. Four, three, keep breathing two, and one, relax, bend your knees 90 degrees, interlace your hands behind your head. And just take a moment here to breathe and digest everything you're feeling. Say to yourself, what the heck did I get myself into today? And just breathe here for a moment. And really re-engage your core here, so I want you to Anchor your navel to your spine and fasten your spine into the mat. So really root your lower back down into the earth. Knees are bent 90 degrees, so hips are directly under your knees, shins are parallel to the earth. Glue your knees together, glue your ankles together, flex your feet. Okay, inhale, curl your tailbone up to the sky. Exhale, lower your heels down towards the mat, keeping that 90 degree bend in your knees. Lower the heels down just to hover. We've got four more of those. Inhale, curl your tailbone. Exhale, lower your heels for three, two, one. Inhale, curl your tailbone up. Exhale, lower your heels for three. Press your lower back into the mat. Two, one, two more. Inhale, curl your tailbone. Exhale, lower heels for three, two, and one, last one. Inhale, lift your tailbone. Exhale, lower heels. Three, two, and one. Happy baby pose. Bend your knees wide. Flex your feet towards the sky. Catch the outside edges of your feet. You can either rock side to side or you can just settle into some stillness here. Yogi's choice. Bring your hands to your hamstrings, knees come together to touch and start to just rock and roll all the way up and down along your spine until you eventually rock and roll up to a seat. We're coming into tabletop. Plant your palms, cross your ankles and step your knees back. So come into a nice neutral tabletop. Spread all 10 fingers, all 10 toes. You're pressing down through the tops of your feet and let's move through a couple cat caps. Take an inhale. Drop your belly, arch your back, look up. Exhale, round your spine, chin to chest, push your mat away. Inhale, drop your belly, open your throat, gaze all the way up. Exhale, round your spine, tuck your tailbone, move through a couple more rounds of these cat cows organically at your own pace with your breath. The only rule is that you're inhaling every time you arch your back and look up. Exhaling every time you round your spine. You can start to activate your ujjayi pranayama. That's those really deep, really audible inhales and exhales through your nose with a slight constriction of the back of your throat. This is just a way of creating some internal heat in the body, which is actually, if you think about it, this breath becomes a little bit more necessary when we're not in a heated room because we kind of need that breath to create that extra heat in the body because that heat's not being created for us. We're not in a 90 degree room. And let's get into the core. So come back to your neutral tabletop. You're still pressing down to the tops of your feet. Take an inhale, drop your belly, arch your back, look up. Exhale, round your spine. This time, hover your knees above the earth. So you're pressing down through your palms and through the tops of your feet, round your spine, Protract your shoulders, meaning create space between your shoulder blades and tuck your tailbone. Send your gaze back. Feel that heat, that fire, start to simmer in your core. Let it be there. So all of those sensations that you want to run from, run towards them instead. Let yourself feel them. Stay here for one more big breath. Push your mat away. Good. Drop your knees. Inhale for cow pose. This time, tuck your toes or curl your toes. As you exhale, round your spine, 
Hover your knees above the mat. Stay here for five breaths. If you're good here, stay here. If you'd like an added challenge, I invite you to move through some micro cat cows, spinal undulations with your knees hovering. Good, stay for five, four, three, two, and one. Drop your knees, let's give our wrists some love. So you can sit back on your heels and just give your wrists a little shake. I also just wanna say that anytime in this class that your wrists start to talk to you, or shout at you, always listen to them. You should never feel any wrist pain or joint pain. Come back to your tabletop, flip your hands so that you're pressing down through the back of your hands, like so, pressing down through the backs of your hands, fingers pointing towards your knees. And just take a few moments to gently press down through the back of each hand. You know, in a yoga class, we spend the entire yoga class with our wrists in extension. So this counter stretch, actually becomes super important. And you don't ever want to take the same three or four movements every time. So of course, take any other wrist stretches that you enjoy taking. Maybe you kind of make circles around your wrists with your shoulders. And then if you're making circles, be sure to go ahead and circle around the other direction. From here, we'll find our first downward facing dog. Plant your palms, curl your toes, send your hips to the sky, down dog. We'll be here for a few breaths, so take a moment to pedal out your feet, taking turns, rooting each heel down towards the earth. Send your gaze all the way back to your navel. Again, if you've lost that connection with your ujjayi breathing, bring it back. Take turns rooting each heel down as you press the mat away, sending your tailbone up to the sky. We've got tight hamstrings. You can soften your knees as much as you need to. Take a look forward, tiptoe your feet towards the top of your mat. Take your feet as wide as your mat on the outside of your hands. Heels in, toes out. Malasana yogi squat. Sink your hips down, bring your hands to heart center. If your hips are a little bit tight, feel free to place something underneath you, underneath your bum, whether that's a block or a book, maybe a small child, literally whatever you have around you in your house. Pretend there's a wall behind you and you're trying to press your back into the wall, broaden through your shoulder blades, not your shoulder blades, <laughs> your collarbones. Soften your jaw, soften your face, squeezing your palms together. With every exhale, can you melt down? Can you sink down a little bit deeper into this pose? Can you press even your stubborn pinky toes down into the mat? One more big breath here, letting go of whatever you may be resisting, consciously or unconsciously. Plant your palms, Uttanasana, standing forward fold, send your hips to the sky. Heel till your feet hip width distance. And then in this pose, you've got whatever variation you want. So maybe you catch opposite elbows, maybe you sway side to side, maybe you bring your hands to the earth. If you crave an extra shoulder stretch, interlace your fingers behind your back at the base of your spine, squeeze palms, squeeze shoulder blades, send your arms up to the sky. Again, if you have tight hamstrings, bend your knees. It's a great yoga hack. You can just bend the crap out of your knees. It's going to give you a lot of extra space in your hamstrings. Use your core to compress your abdomen to the tops of your thighs. That's going to prepare you for handstands and inversions. And then just hold here. Feel all that blood start to rush to your head, your face, your ears. Go ahead and release that grip you have on your arms. Head weighs a million pounds. Bend your knees a lot and start to roll up one vertebra at a time. Let your head be the absolute last thing to come up. Standing tall into Dasana. So bring yourself to the tip top of your mat. Big toes touch. Heels slightly apart. Close your eyes. In yoga, it's not really about how the poses look, but it's about the sensations that the poses bring up in your body, your mind, your heart. So take a moment here to just feel it. 
Ground down through all corners of your feet. Tuck your tailbone. Draw lower belly in. Roll your shoulders back and down. Pop your chest up and out. Grow a little bit taller. Softening your face and lengthening up through the crown of your head. As you surrender to this downward force through your feet, you want to automatically feel an uplifting force moving through your spine, your torso. Bring your hands to heart center. You can take a moment here to set a quick intention for your practice today. That can be anything. Maybe you think of someone or something you can dedicate this hour to on your mat. Maybe it's a goal for yourself, or maybe it's just simply thanking yourself for taking the time to tune in and check in with whatever is happening in your body, your mind, your heart. We'll start with a couple rounds of sun salutations. So as you seal your intention, begin to flutter your eyes open. Take an inhale, sweep your arms up overhead, grow tall. Exhale, standing forward fold. Inhale, right foot steps back for lunge. Keep your right knee lifted or drop it, yogi's choice. Exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale, roll to high plank, gaze forward. Drop your knees or keep them lifted. Exhale, low push up, elbows squeezing in at your ribs. Inhale, upward facing dog, straighten your arms. Exhale, roll over your toes, downward facing dog. Three legged dog. Inhale, right leg high to the sky. Exhale, step right foot forward. Find your lunge, find your balance, and then test your balance. Interlace fingers behind you, squeeze palms, take a back bend, look up. Exhale, plant your palms, left foot steps forward to meet right foot, forward fold. Inhale, root to rise, press palms, see thumbs. Exhale, hands to heart center, left side. Inhale, rise up. Exhale, fold in. Inhale, left foot steps back, find your lunge, gaze forward. Exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale, high plank. Exhale, chaturanga dandasana, low push. Inhale, upward facing dog, lift your heart, gaze up. Exhale, downward facing dog, root your heels down. Three-legged dog, left leg high to the sky, inhale. Exhale, left foot steps forward. Find your lunge, interlace fingers behind you, high crescent lunge, take a back bend. Exhale, plant palms, Uttanasana, forward fold. Reverse swan dive with a flat back, lead with your heart, press palms, see thumbs. Exhale, hands to heart center. We've got two more rounds, just like that. Inhale, Hasta Uttanasana, gaze up. Exhale, standing forward fold. Inhale, right foot steps back, find your lunge, heart shines forward. You'll feel an extra opening for your groin when you lift your chest and look forward. Exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale, find high plank, look forward. Exhale, chaturanga dandasana. Pause here. Pause to feel everything that you're feeling. Move slowly to feel all of it. If, you, if you're in up dog, come back, come back to Chaturanga, join us. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale, right leg to the sky. Exhale, step right foot forward. Interlace fingers behind you, take your back bend. Maybe you open your throat and gaze up and test your balance even more. Plant your palms, exhale, Uttanasana, forward. Inhale, root to rise, press palms, see thumbs. Exhale, hands to heart center, left side. Inhale, Hasta Uttanasana, rise. Exhale, Uttanasana, fold. Inhale, step your left foot back, find your lunge. Exhale, downward facing. Inhale, high plank. Exhale, Chaturanga. Tuck your tailbone a lot, engage your core. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, down dog. Inhale, left leg high to the sky, three-legged dog. Exhale, step left foot next to left thumb. Keep your back heel lifted, find your back bend. See if you can lift even. Imagine you're lifting the back of your heart up to the sky. 
Exhale, Uttanasana, forward fold. Inhale, root to rise, press palms, see thumbs. Exhale, hands to heart center. You guys are doing an awesome job. We'll do one more round just like that. Inhale, rise up. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, right foot back for lunge. Exhale, left foot back for down dog. Inhale, high plank. Exhale, chaturanga. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, down dog. Inhale, right leg high. Exhale, right foot forward for lunge. Interlace fingers. Inhale for your back bend. Maybe you back bend a little bit deeper than you did last time. Exhale, plant palms. Uttanasana, forward fold. Inhale, root to rise. Press palms, gaze up, grow tall. Exhale, hands to heart center. Left side, inhale, rise. Exhale, fold. Inhale, left foot back for lunge, moving a little quicker. Exhale, down dog, building some heat. Inhale, high plank. Exhale, chaturanga. Inhale, up dog, straighten your arms. Exhale, down dog. Inhale, left foot, high to the sky. Exhale, step it forward. Find your back bend, squeeze palms, squeeze shoulder blades. Exhale, plant palms, Uttanasana, forward fold. Inhale, root to rise, press palms, see thumbs. Exhale, release. Take a moment to take some water, towel off, do whatever you need to do. And we'll head straight into the flow. Hopefully you guys are feeling good, and nice and warm. That's the main purpose of those sun salutations. We'll start off with a balancing posture. So bring yourself also to the tip top of your mat and start to pour all of your weight into your right foot. And as you pour your weight into your right foot, bring your right hand to your right hip. Give your left knee a big hug in towards your left armpit. This is option one. Option two, Utita Hasta Padangustasana, where your left peace fingers will catch your left big toe. Maybe that left leg starts to slowly extend for a hamstring opening stretch. And this pose is not meant to be easy. It's a really hard pose. If I, if I make it look easy, it's because that's my job. <laughs> I've been practicing this pose for many years. So every time you fall and lose your balance, remember that that's a good thing because it means your body's changing, your muscles are getting stronger and come right back into the pose. Take one more really big breath here. Slow motion, step back to your high crescent lunge. Just feel your way through it. Step your left foot back. Inhale, sweep your arms to the sky. Take a moment to settle into your crescent lunge. Back heel lifted high. You wanna be buoyant here, if that makes sense. Sometimes, I know that sounds weird, but like, you know, you can bounce up and down. Soften your shoulders away from your ears. Squeeze your left glute as slowly as you can. Lower your left knee down towards the mat. Plant your fingertips on either side of your right foot, half split. So half split is where you sink your hips back and extend your right leg as much as your right leg will let you. You can either bring your hands onto blocks or you can come onto your fingertips. Walk your fingertips back to make it easier. Walk your fingertips forward to make it harder. Take an inhale, wave your heart forward, halfway lift. Exhale, melt your heart down over your right leg. Do that two more times. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, melt. Inhale, lift. Exhale, melt. Now gaze at your right big toe and try to resist that urge to round through your back. So instead, try softening your right knee and keeping your heart forward. So it's like you're squeezing your shoulder blades together and you're still looking forward. Draw that right hip back more than it wants to go. Come back to your breath, just soften your face, soften your jaw. From here, we come into easy twists. Plant your right foot, left hand stays planted. Lift your back knee, inhale right arm high to the sky. Easy twist. Although I don't like to call this easy twist because it's not really easy in my opinion, so let's call it lunge twist. 
See if you can catch a glimpse of your right hand with both eyes. Squeeze your inner thighs towards one another. Coming into high plank from here, side plank. Spin your left heel down. Spin all 10 toes to face the right. You can either stay here or you can stack your right foot on top of your left foot. Now, remember, if your left wrist is talking to you, always listen to it. Always listen to your wrists. So if your left wrist is talking to you, come onto your left forearm. It's never worth that pain in your wrist. And if your left wrist is okay, you can stay on that left hand. Ooh, feel that heat start to simmer in your core. Can you squeeze your hips a little bit higher to the sky? Maybe looking up at your right hand to really test your balance. And maybe you fall. If that's the worst thing that happens to you today, that you, you fall in a damn yoga class, it's a really good day still. Send your gaze down. Bend and lift your right knee. This isn't easy either. How slowly can you step your right foot to the outer right edge of your mat? Ooh, pyramid pose. Extend your right leg. Actually, no, crescent lunge, high crescent lunge. Place your right foot in the center of your mat and rise all the way up. We're back to that crescent lunge. Tuck your tailbone to elongate your lower back. Bend that right knee, that full 90 degrees, so more than you want to. Feel that activation through your right quadricep. Long, funky pyramid pose. Plant your fingertips, extend your right leg as much as it'll let you. Your back heel is lifted high, your right foot is planted firmly. Draw your right hip back, coming onto your fingertips. Soften your right knee as much as you need to. Inhale, halfway lift, look forward. Exhale, fold in. You've got two more of those. Inhale, glide your heart out. Exhale, melt your heart down. Last one, inhale, half lift. Exhale, melt. Find a few breaths of stillness here in this long, funky pyramid pose. So it's like the pyramid pose we know and love, but a really wide version. Find your way to downward facing dog, kind of on your feet. Notice how different this down dog feels. Three legged dog, inhale, right leg high to the sky. Exhale, kiss your knee to your nose, round your spine. Now hover your knee just above the earth, pull your knee back up. Good, inhale, three legged dog. Exhale, kiss knee to right elbow, hover your knee down to your wrist. Pull your knee back up. Inhale, three-legged dog. Exhale, kiss knee to left elbow twist. Hover your knee down. Hug your knee back up. Inhale, three-legged dog. Exhale, plant your right foot. It's that easy twist. We've been here before. Easy twist. Right arm to the side. Or lunge twist. Hug your inner thighs towards one another, creating a lift through your pelvic floor. We'll come into wide-legged forward fold, spinning to face the left. So thread your right arm underneath your left armpit. Spin your toes to face the left. Plant your palms, wide-legged forward fold. Heels come out, toes come in. Plant your palms, inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold in. Find some stillness here. Use this breath to come back to Use this pose to come back to your breath and back to your meditative state. So you can walk your palms back in line with your feet. Or maybe you catch your big toes with your peace fingers. We tend to relax our legs in this pose, so I invite you to lift your kneecaps and activate your quadriceps. It's a big game changer. Press down through the outside edges of your feet. Slowing your breath back down. For these last two breaths, can you lift your sit bones, your tailbone up a little bit higher to the sky and bring the crown of your head down a little closer towards your mat. Good. Plant your palms, 
Face the front of your mat, walk your palms forward, down, we're facing dog, pedal out your feet. Making our way to the top of our mat, inhale, take a look forward. Exhale, bend your knees, step, hop, or float to the top of your mat. Inhale, halfway lift when you get there. Exhale, standing forward, fold. Inhale, root to rise, press palms, see thumbs. Exhale, release. All right, left side. We've been here before. We know what's coming. Ground down through your left foot this time. Left hand, left hip. Lift your right knee. Catch your right knee. If this is where you're at, this is where you're at. Stay here, you're in the pose. If you want to take it further, catch your right big toe with your peace fingers and begin to slowly extend that right leg. We got five breaths here, so stay for one. Two, draw your lower belly in. Three, feel the sensation through your left foot and can you press your left foot down a little deeper into your mat? Four, five, slow motion without making a sound. High crescent lunge, how slowly can you step your right foot back? Inhale, sweep your arms to the sky, crescent lunge. Squeeze your right glute, tuck your tailbone. And then how slowly can you lower your right knee down towards the earth, plant your fingertips, sink your hips down, half split, half Hanumanasana. Three spinal undulations at your own pace with your own breath, just like last time. And then find stillness, send your gaze to your left big toe. Keep reaching your heart forward, gazing forwards. Easy twist, plant your left foot, right hand stays planted, lift your back knee, inhale, left arm high to the sky. Squeeze sit bones towards one another. Twist a little bit deeper with every exhale. Can you catch a glimpse of your left hand with your right eyeball? Coming into your variation of side plank. Spin your right heel down, all 10 toes face the left. Press down through your right hand. Maybe you stack your feet on top of one another for that full variation. Maybe you keep your left foot out as a kickstand. Maybe you come onto your right forearm. Stay for one breath. Two breaths. If you've never looked up at your left hand because you're afraid of falling, do it now. I think there's only one of you on camera, and I can't even see you because I'm facing the other direction. So nobody's gonna see you. So just look up at your left hand. The worst thing that's gonna happen is that you're gonna fall. Good, now look down at your right hand, bend your left knee, catch your left knee with your left hand, step your left foot all the way forward next to your right hand. Ooh, inhale, high crescent lunge, sweep your fingertips to the sky. Exhale, long funky pyramid, maybe this time you slowly extend your right leg, fold forward, bringing your fingertips down last. Inhale, halfway lift, look forward. Exhale, forward fold. Two more of those at your own pace with your own breath. And then find a breath of stillness here. Look to your left big toe. <clears throat> Calm your breath down. Feel that opening that's starting to happen in your left hamstring. Downward facing dog. Left foot steps back to meet your right foot. Child's pose. Drop your knees. Take your knees as wide as your mat, big toes touch, melt your belly down, walk your fingertips forwards. Taking water, toweling off, doing whatever you need to do here. And take a moment here to come back to your intention, whatever it was that brought you in here today. And if you're not sure what that thing was, then, well, maybe it was just to create a little bit of space where you were once stuck or to unveil layers of protection that you've built around your heart. Whatever that thing is, just acknowledging that it's not quite enough that we come here just to get flexible. 
Yoga is about a little bit more than that. And then savor these last couple of breaths of stillness here. Press down through your palms, lift your hips, find your downward facing dog. We'll take that flow again a second time. Take an inhale, look forward, exhale, bend your knees, sink your hips back and down, step, hop, or float to the top of your mat. Inhale, halfway lift, reach your heart forward, reach your butt back. Exhale, standing forward, fold. Let's do that one more time. So bring your fingertips to the earth in front of your feet. Take an inhale, halfway lift, flatten your back, and then hold here. I want you to just feel and tap into the sensations here in your hamstrings. So reach your heart forward, reaching the crown of your head forward towards something in front of you. And now your sit bones, your butt is reaching back. So it's like your butt is, you're growing your butt back and wide. Feel all of that that's happening through your hamstring. You should be feeling a lot right now. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift, or fully lift, or excuse me. Press palms, seat thumbs. Exhale, release your arms down by your sides. All right, round two. Been here before, we know what's coming. Weight comes into your right foot, right hand, right hip. Give your left knee a big hug towards the left armpit or give that hand to foot pose another go. Maybe extending that left leg. Draw your lower belly in. And here's a really great tip here. I want you to focus your gaze on something in front of you that's not moving. Either at eye level or on the floor in front of you and don't take your eyes off of that thing, whatever that thing is. It's gonna help you maintain your balance, your focus, your concentration. And as slowly and as controlled as you can, swivel your left leg back. High crescent lunge, inhale, sweep your arms to the side. Exhale, drop your left knee, plant your fingertips, half split, sink your hips back, flex your right toes towards your face. If you're working on full split, now's your chance. Feel free to maybe work your way into that full split. Bringing that right foot all the way out in front of you. Otherwise, if you're like, no, I am good where I'm at, and stay exactly where you're at, you're still in the pose. The idea here, the reason that we do these flows a second time is that you can feel any extra space or length that you're creating in your body that wasn't, that wasn't there before. That's the whole reason. Good. Slowly release, plant your right foot, plant your left palm, inhale, easy twist, right arm to the sky, side plank, spin left heel down, press down through your left hand, maybe stacking that right foot on top of the left. Stay for one, two, three, squeeze your hips higher to the sky, four, five, gaze down, bend and catch your right knee with your right hand, step your right foot forward, inhale, high press and lunge, exhale, long funky pyramid, extend your right leg, plant your fingertips, lift your back heel, one halfway lift, inhale. Exhale, melt over your right leg, press down, glide your right leg back, three-legged dog. Lower your right foot down towards the earth. Pedal out your feet. And then inhale, right leg high to the sky. Exhale, kiss your right foot forward. Inhale, easy twist. Right arm high to the sky. Exhale. Lie your right hand underneath your left armpit. Spin to face the left, wide legged forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, melt down. Walk to the front of your mat, plant your palms. Downward facing dog, pedal out your feet. Inhale, look forward, bend your knees, and in your own way, travel to the top of your mat. Inhale, halfway lift, look forward. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, root to rise. Press palms, seat thumbs. Exhale, hands to heart center and release. Pour your weight into your left foot this time. 
Left hand, left hip. Give your right knee a big squeeze towards your armpit. Maybe you catch that right big toe with your index and middle finger and extend that right leg. Stay for one. Two. Three. Four. Feel the earth beneath your left foot. Push it away. And five. Without making a sound, step your right foot back to high crescent. Inhale, sweep your arms to the sky. Exhale, slow motion, drop your right knee. Plant your fingertips, half split or full split as you sink your hips back and look forward. Finding a few breaths of stillness here. Flexing your left toes towards your face if you're in half split. Or maybe walking your left foot forward, coming into your variation of a full split or a full-ish split. And slowly release, plant left foot, plant right palm. Inhale, left arm to the sky, lunge twist. Side plank, spin right heel down, face the left. Stack left foot on top of right, stay for one. Two, maybe looking up at that left hand. Three, four, five, bend left knee, catch left knee. Step your left foot forward. Inhale, high crescent lunge. Exhale, long, funky pyramid. Fold over your left leg. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, melt down. Now press down with your left foot and glide your left foot back straight into three-legged dog this time. Exhale, kiss your knee to your nose. Hover your left knee down. Hug your left knee up. Inhale, three-legged dog. Exhale, left knee, left elbow. Hover your knee down to left wrist. Pull your knee back up. Inhale, three-legged dog. Exhale, left knee, right elbow twist. Hover your knee down. Hug your knee up. Inhale, three-legged dog. Exhale, easy twist. Plant your left foot. Inhale, left arm again, high to the sky. Wide-legged forward fold. Thread your left arm underneath your right armpit. Spin yourself to face the right. Side of your room, right side of your mat, wide-legged forward fold. Toes come in, heels come out. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold in. So we've been here before, we've been here a couple of times. So I'm gonna introduce to you guys a few other variations. If you just love getting upside down, feel free to get upside down for a tripod headstand, which is where you plant your palms. Palms are in line with your toes. Plant the crown of your head down and maybe you lift your legs to the sky. Otherwise, if you're really happy in this forward fold, enjoying the flexibility and stay here. For that shoulder stretch, interlace fingers behind you, squeeze palms. Send your arms up and forward. For so much weight in your toes that you feel like you might fall forward. And then plant your palms. Come to face the front of your mat, downward facing dog. Drop your knees, cross your ankles. Come to sit on your booty, of course, take water towel off, do whatever you need. And we reached our peak pose. Normally with the peak pose, it's um, I choose something that I can at least demonstrate effectively. <laughs> this is not the case, but we're gonna give this a go because I was playing with this and it's really fun. Okay. We come into boat pose from here. So sit up nice and tall, balance on your sit bones, bend your knees in towards your chest. Arms are parallel to the earth. Now, if you're good here, stay here. If you wanna extend your legs to really challenge yourself and extend your legs, look to your big toes. Exhale, bend your right knee, tap your right toe down to the mat. Inhale, extend your right leg, boat pose. Good. Exhale, bend left knee, tap left toe, Inhale, boat pose. Let's do that a few more times. Inhale, bend right knee. Exhale, boat. Inhale, bend left. Exhale, boat. Now, we're gonna try for a pistol squat. Exhale, bend your left knee. Now plant the sole of your right foot. Keep reaching fingertips forwards. As you press down into your right foot, extend your right leg to come all the way up to stand. Exhale, lower all the way back down, pistol squat. 
Boat pose. Exhale, bend left knee, tap left toe. Plant left foot, flex your right foot. Pistol squat, press down through your left foot. Rise all the way up. Exhale, lower back down. Boat pose, stay here for one. Regular boat pose, two. Trying to get your belly as close as you can to the tops of your thighs. Three, do you hate me yet? Do you hate me yet? Four, please don't hate me. And five, lower your feet. Baddha Konasana, bound angle pose. So bring the soles of your feet together to touch. Shimmy your heels as close as you can to your groin. Take your hands, open your feet like a book. And just be here. With every exhale, melting your knees a little bit wider, a little bit closer down. If you'd like a little bit more from this pose, I invite you to hinge forward at your hips and begin to reach your chest forward. Like you're trying to bring your forehead down to the ground in front of you. Maybe you even use your forearms to open up your thighs a little bit wider. And just breathe. Enjoying this really nice counter stretch to that boat pose where we fired up your hip flexors, your quadriceps, and especially your core. Whatever thoughts are coming up, just brush them off to the side. They'll still be waiting for you when the class ends. The whole, uh, the whole purpose of this hour on our mats is to kind of create a meditative space for yourself and to silence that, that constant mental chitter chatter that always haunts us throughout the day, right? It's meant to be an escape, but also it's meant to serve as a deep dive or a journey within. So let it be like that. So just all of those external things that always bubble up to the surface, just allow them to Stay off to the side. Last breath or two here. Make it a good one. And then slowly release. Extend your legs out in front of you. Paschimottanasana. Seated forward fold. Inhale, reach your arms up to the sky. Exhale, fold forward, leading with your chest, hinging at your hips, bringing your hands to whatever is accessible to you. And bring your soles of the feet to the mat, bend your knees, reach your fingertips forward, last bit of core strength here. How slowly, one vertebra at a time, how slowly can you lower all the way down onto your back? Extend your legs, give your right knee a big massive squeeze towards your right armpit. Interlace your fingers over your right shin bone. Pressing your left leg flat into the mat. And extend your right leg high to the sky for a nice hamstring stretch. Interlace your fingers behind whatever's most accessible to you, whether that's right hamstring, right calf, right ankle. Maybe beginning to bend your elbows. Even though that foot feels, I know your right foot feels like it's a million miles away from you, but try to guide it a little bit closer towards your face with every exhale. We'll take a figure four stretch, bend your right knee, cross right ankle over left thigh, right ankle over left thigh, right arm comes through that shape you've made, interlace fingers behind left hamstring or over left shin, flex your feet a lot. Guide your left knee towards your face. You wanna feel this on your outer right hip. If your sacrum has crept up to the sky, press it back down into the mat, so that bony part of your lower back. Keep your left leg exactly where it is. 
float your right leg down flat. You're already in position for the left side. Interlace hands over left shin bone and bend and squeeze your left knee towards your left armpit. With every exhale, can you squeeze that left knee a little bit closer into you? Soften your face, your jaw, your shoulders away from your ears. Come into your hamstring stretch. Extend your left leg. Bring your hands to whatever is the most available to you today. Your left, right leg is actively pressing down to the mat extended. Pressing your shoulder blades back and down into the mat if they'll let you. Last two breaths here. Can you guide your left foot a little closer to your face? Figure four pose. Cross left ankle over right thigh. Bring your left arm through. Interlace fingers. Squeeze that right knee towards your face. Flex your feet a lot to protect your knee joints. One more breath here. Hug your right knee in a little closer. And then we take, it's that happy baby pose that we took at the beginning of class. So you're bending your knees towards your ribs. Flex the soles of your feet up to the sky. Catch outside edges of your feet. Now, I want you to notice. I want you to really notice how different this pose feels now than at the beginning of class. Are you able to bend your elbows a little bit and guide your knees down a little closer towards the floor? And that space, that length that you've created, you did that. And if you can create space and length in your body, oh my gosh, you can definitely create it in your heart and in your mind and clear out all of that old dust and dirt and debris, all of that shit, and make room for the better things that are coming. Inviting life to rip out of you what you no longer wish to carry. Slowly release. Of course, if you have any other poses that you feel that you just didn't get before we come into Shavasana, you're more than welcome to take them. Otherwise, settle onto your back. We'll take three minutes or four minutes of Shavasana, and then we'll close out the class all together. So I'll bring you out of Shavasana. For now, your only job is to just chill. So close your eyes. Take your feet as wide as your mouth. Let your feet splay open. Let your tongue just float to the roof of your mouth. And find stillness. So you start to slowly wiggle your fingers, your toes. I want you to connect to that space of harmony, of tranquility, equanimity that you've created in this short practice. And that peace, that harmony that you created, it's yours. It's yours to keep with you throughout the rest of your day, the rest of your week, the rest of your month. Take a Huge full body stretch, reach your arms overhead, point your toes, squeeze, stretch. And bend your knees, roll onto any side. Let your head rest on your right bicep or any bicep. Use your other palm to press you all the way up into a seat. Keeping your eyes closed, come to face 
your computer, or if you don't know where you are, that's even better. Come into any comfortable seat. And with eyes still closed, bring your palms firmly together at heart center, thumbs to sternum. And again, thank yourself for taking this time out of your day to show up for yourself, to tune in, and to check in with whatever might be pulsing through you. It's not always easy to check in with the things that are swirling around up there in your head, especially during this time of quarantine and this new normal that we're all trying so hard to get accustomed to. May your connection to the earth always be steady and joyful. Namaste. Okay, I'm just gonna quickly unmute you guys. Um, just a moment. You'd think I would have gotten better at Zoom by now. Okay, you're unmuted. All right, guys, thank you so much for joining me. Um, can you hear me? I can't hear you. Thank yes, you. Christy. Vincent, how do I say Z-I-A-O? Zao? Zao, it's Zao. Zao. And Catherine and Trung? Yep. Cool. Well, um, yeah, how do you guys feel? I hope you feel good. hope you feel better than when you first stepped onto your mat. It's nice. Cool. Real good. Thank you. Awesome. Well, thank you guys for joining me. Um, if you have any questions or feedback, please feel free to reach out to me on Instagram. Um, yeah, um, thank you guys for taking an hour out of your Saturday evening to join me. I loved having you. Appreciate it. Cool. Thank you. Have a good rest of your night, guys. Christine, bye. Bye. Bye, guys. Bye.